Testing, testing, testing. Okay, I'm just going to make sure if the screen goes blank, I'm going to have to reset it because I always have to reset it now for some reason. Hopefully, no yeah, hopefully it does work. Fingers oh, crossed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's all me. Yeah, I can at least monetize it um, at the bare minimum. So, yeah, just let the screen. Uh, so, when you get 1k subs, do yeah. you start getting paid? Like, uh, yeah, you get a monetization from YouTube mm. and they, they paid pretty, it's pretty decent. Does it take uh, long to get the email? Not, not too long. It takes about, you apply, because um, I applied when I hit 18, so it took about two weeks for Lee to get monetized, and I just put monetized in every video. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's really good. So, it's worthwhile, to be fair. But, but when you get yeah. monetized, do you, do you yeah. get the notification that you're, you're uh, eligible? Yeah, I do. I oh, get they notified. They tell, so they tell me, they email me. They, me. they email me on a monthly basis uh, to keep me updated on uh, what I currently do. Yeah, I'm going to make sure the screen doesn't go blank because uh, I'll just give it another minute or so, hopefully, and then it should. Um, the only annoying thing is when I have music on my videos, so for example, yesterday I got 44,000 views. Music, and, uh, copyright? Yeah, copyright oh, for music. That's fucking annoying. It, so it, it doesn't really affect the channel in any way, but it just, you can't monetize a video. That's the only uh, awkward thing. Uh, so if I remove all the music, I'll be fine. It's not really a copy, it's not a strike, it's just more, I just can't make money out of that video, but I'm trying to at the moment so that I can just play But if you get too many copyrights, No, 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 if you get too many, um, it's normal. It's, uh, it happens to every YouTube channel across uh, the spectrum, like every single channel, but oh. yeah, anyways, I'm just going to make sure, hopefully, I'll give it another minute, if it doesn't go blank, I'll start presenting on camera, because I see there's a heated debate over there. Do you have Instagram, by the way? Oh, Insta, yeah. yeah, I'll show you, uh, feel free to drop a follow. Uh, you can DM me at Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, there's, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do my business account here. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Especially in the run-up to the general election, it should be really interesting as well, covering everything. Genuinely, right? This should be like really good fun. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I'll just click the press. Thank you, bro. Cheers, cheers. Yeah. Um, hopefully, it appears to be working nice and well. Um, I'll give it another minute until. And then if the screen doesn't go blank, I can just continue my stream. So what do you avoid on YouTube to like not get paid? So not get paid. Yeah, uh, so like so that they find you. Um, it's mainly music if someone has music in the background, but you can just mute the video and um, it'll work fine afterwards. So, so yeah. if I put Justin yeah. Bieber on yeah. mainstream music. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So they, they sort of uh, they what they do. You can either share the monetization. So sometimes if you're lucky. You can have music and still earn a small amount, but half the amount than normal. Um, but in worst case scenario, they just um, you can't monetize it, uh, so the ad revenue goes directly to the producer. Uh, so let's say Justin Bieber, for example. So you're hoping yeah. to free in a sense. But I'm going to delete all the music, and then I can just make myself because I'm a freelancer. And so it's so good to exam. This whole summer is just going to be streaming the whole time. I'll show you my channel if you want to uh, drop this up. Oh, it's good, yeah, feel free to take a photo of it but on your phone. Yeah, we're live at the moment. I'm going to get right into the thick of it fairly shortly. I just need to watch it. Perfect, bro. It appears to be working nice and well. So, you know, I think I'm good to go. But just maybe uh, just uh, do like a hand gesture of it, like put thumbs up or like, yeah, if it's sort of, uh, or thumbs down if it goes blank. Subscribe. Perfect. Thank you. All right, yeah. Guys, we are now broadcasting live down in central London at London Speaker's Corner. So today there is a Christian protest uh, taking place fairly shortly. And just to tell you the details on it, it's basically about uh, over the past couple of weeks, there's been so much confrontation between uh, the Christians and the Muslims here. So basically uh, what they want to do, uh, apparently one of the Christian people has been attacked and they want to defend uh, faith from extremists. So that's what they're calling for at the moment. And they're over there in the corner. I think they're heading up from Marble Arch Tube Station. So it should be interesting. I'm just going to double check if the stream's rolling. Yes, it is. So we have no technical difficulty. It's really weird because whenever I started my live streams, the screen went blank, but now it appears to be working completely fine. So we're rolling. We can get sorted into this, but we're going to head over there as there appears to be a debate. I see a St. George's Cross. So there are a few uh, protesters here today. I'm just going to double check if the stream's rolling on my end. Um, 
just bear with, I'll be a second. Thank you all for tuning in. Remember to also uh, subscribe and share the live stream if you enjoy independent freelance journalism and support independent media like us as we cover the truth, we show what's happening. The BBC won't be here today, mainstream media won't in general. They will be uh, doing their own narrative. But we cover everything, we show the truth. Um, yeah, everything seems to be working fine. Put one in the chat if the audio is working because we are connected to one of, uh, this is a new microphone I got recently and it's, very, it's come very handy and very useful when I'm doing interviews. So yeah, just put one in the chat if the audio is uh, fully correct. So yeah, we're going to head over there. Uh, there appears to be a lot of people. Really good to meet you, bro. I'm going to head up uh, there. Yeah, definitely take care. Yeah, so guys, we're now at Speaker's Corner. Uh, it appears to be very busy at the moment. A lot of debates taking place and I can hear a lot of uh, shouting and screaming. So. We just arrived and it's already kicking off. But if you enjoy the stream, share it out there. Uh, as my Susie says, we are the media. And the Indian uh, Christian woman is speaking. I forgot her name. Uh, excuse me, I'm really bad with names, but please do bear with. But she's preaching on a ladder right now, as you see right behind me over here. And then there are a few people debating. Uh, someone is wearing uh, what appears to be some sort of mask. And we've got another YouTuber here. Uh, George TV, definitely sub to him. How are you doing? You okay? How are you? Doing? How are you? You're okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. They pour coffee on you. Yeah. So as you see, she has an Israeli flag behind her. And she's debating uh, the Muslims at Speaker's Corner. The mood is very tense here because a lot of these people disagree. Hey there, how are you doing? Okay, very good to see you. How's it been? Hi everyone, big up, local experimentalist, UK. Go check out this channel, million dollar question. Will it kick off today? Will it kick off? That's what we're asking here, yeah. Danny Tomo will be here in about five minutes. In five minutes, so they're gonna debate and protest, whatever, but I saw it online, yeah. A peaceful debate, <laughs> should see. But yeah, there are a lot of people here, and a lot of people here disagree with each other on very um, hotly debated topics. So it uh, should be interesting to see what it's like. But thank you all for tuning in. Uh, we're covering Speaker's Corner. Yeah, seeing a bit local. Definitely check him out. He's another independent journalist uh, covering what we uh, cover in central London. So as we see right now, just in front of me, uh, the protesters are currently making their way to Speaker's Corner. And we also got some information that Danny Tomo is en route here. There are a lot of people. So I'm just going to show you guys over here behind. So apparently Danny Thomas here, I'm going to try to do an interview with him. You should be able to preach what you want right to preach. Where she you should be able to argue what you want to argue. And you should not be under the threat of violence. What we saw last weekend as a Christian nation, we will not accept what we saw. We are here today as peaceful Christians to stand united with all Christians Amen. and all faiths to say this is our place where we come to discuss. And I want to thank Bob and everyone that's making today happen. And we're here as peaceful. We want to get involved. We want to make sure that everyone here feels comfortable with our presence. We are not here for violence. We are not here to intimidate. We are here because Christ is King! But before you go, before you go, let me turn my microphone up Christ is King! 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 Before you go, the person who was attacked yeah. Last week is here. We are the just Christians. over there, and I've had the opportunity to interview him yeah. on two occasions. Are you aware that the perpetrators of the incident last week has been charged with arson and attempted murder? Amen. No, I didn't know that. That's the first well, that's time good. I've heard that. But that's good. 
So the, we'd like to speak to that individual if he's willing to speak to us. I mean, we, yeah, I mean, we want to put, we want to put our hands round this guy. You know, every religion has the right to be here. Every religion has the right to preach. Every religion has the right to argue here. What they don't, any religion doesn't have the right to do is attack anyone. That's right. And that's what we're here to support, to make sure that people understand. We, we give Christ this is king. King. We're just Christ getting, is I'm just king. getting the, I'm just getting the doctor. So you can go over here. Danny, one question. Uh, what, a, what impact do you think this rally will have at Speaker's Corner? And do you think a lot of people will be aware to the situation going on? I think the impact it'll have is people will see this is a Christian nation. People think that Christianity is in decline, that are not part of the churches. Let me tell you now, Christianity is on the rise. Amen. We see what is happening to our brothers and sisters around the country, and we see what is happening around the world. We can't do much about those Christians that are persecuted, but we can do something here. And I would ask any Christian to make sure they they share the videos from today. The love, the love. I want to talk to this guy because he's one of the guys that was attacked. Yeah. So also, let this guy through quickly. Yeah. So this is the doctor, Danny. Yeah. And and the doctor. Can you explain? Can if you hold that doctor, can you explain to Danny what happened last week and what has subsequently happened? Christ is king. Thank you. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why it happened last week when I was a. When uh, my flag was taken away, the Israeli flag, which is in support of the Jewish people. Secondly, uh, my property was damaged. My table and Bible and books were trashed by two, principally two characters. Thank God that they were arrested, and they were arrested on charges of uh, arson, attempted arson, on trying to basically burn me alive in Speaker's Corner. Never. Just what, did they, what did they do when yeah, you say they tried to burn your life? It was actually filmed. Was they, somebody what? actually filmed it. They, they literally tried to burn me. I was on the ladder preaching and somebody had a, a lighter and was trying to light me up. We'll never stand for it. So fortunately yeah. God protected me. I didn't know that he Amen. was doing it. Amen. Until I saw the film myself and says, wow, this Amen. idiot was trying to burn me alive. And you also said everybody. about a charge of attempted murder. Yes. Can you tell us about that as well? Well, that follows on because it was attempted arson, which failed, and therefore that led to attempted murder because anything could have happened to me. So he was arrested on those specific charges. I had to go to the police station to make a full statement about an hour. Uh, today the police are around, so, which is good, but they should be here more often. Yeah. And quicker as well. Right. Well, we, just, we, we want to say that we're very sorry that you experienced that. We are here. I mean, I've had my experiences to speak as corner. But we want to say that we stand united with you. Amen. And if there's anything we can do as a community, as a Christian community, to make you feel safer, then we'll do that. And from us, we're very sorry that we're here to support you. Christ yeah. is king. We'd like to go in now. Christ is king. We'd like to go in. Thank you. God bless you. Thanks for being here. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Lead the way, man. Nice one, Christians are here! We are the Christians! Hallelujah! Christians are here! We love everyone! Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry. Then it 
holds it, and that's what Islam does. Seeing we're empty, we have nothing to offer. So they're taking all the sorry, sorry, sorry. Ignore them! Sorry, 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 thank you, sir. Cheers, sir. Thank you. Or cowards, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Join the disciples of Christ street movement. <laughs> Find us on social media. Join the protests. We go at this moment. We're launching a campaign where we are going to be protesting outside of the embassies of all the nations where Christians are being persecuted. Amen. Christ is king. Christ is king. Christ is king. Christ is king. That means, that means, I want every English Christian to join with us when we protest outside of the Nigerian embassy against the genocide that's occurring against Nigerian Christians. I want every English Christian to join us when we protest outside of the Azerbaijan embassy for their genocide against Armenian Christians. I want every English Christian to join us when we protest outside of the Pakistan embassy for its persecution of Pakistani Christians. We across Europe can no longer be silent when our brothers and sisters are being killed, when they are being driven from their homes. And ladies and gentlemen, here's a Brucey bonus. Because as English Christians, everybody loves a Brucey bonus. You've got to be a certain age to get that joke. Just look at the people that are laughing. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give Bob a round of applause for everything he does. He has out of this park, ladies and gentlemen. Never! So, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to invite my brother Nick to come on. Yeah, Nick. Nick's going to come on and give you a talk and I'm going to listen and I want you to listen to Nick. When's hair and makeup? She's here. Everyone happy? Ready? I like good sound. Get in there. Get in there. Blocking us off from the view as well. Okay. And me. Everyone happy? Great. Hello, everyone. Hello. My name is Nick. For those of you who don't know me, shout right to the back row. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Nick. Hello, Nick. I am a Christian. I am not afraid. Doesn't control me, Amen. I control it! Amen. Because I understand how fear works! We are here today to talk to people about the Denounce the 1% campaign! Denounce the 1% of fanatics, of extremists, of people who want to do us and our brothers and sisters harm, regardless of where they come from, regardless of what they believe regardless of their demographic, creed, background, bank account, regardless, if it is extremism, it is not welcome in Britain! Yeah. We have no Christianity in our mainstream political parties. Read the manifestos. Reform's contract mentions Christianity once. 
UKIP mentions it several times. There is an element here where Bob speaks so passionately about Christians finding their voice. This muscular Christianity that people talk about. Middle class Christianity being called out. There are a number of things which have to come together. At the helm is activism. Amen. Amen. At the helm is getting off your backside and standing Amen. shoulder to shoulder with your brothers and sisters Amen. and calling out the 1% that spoil it for everyone. Amen. Call out the liberal elites. Amen. Call out the political class. Amen. There is an opportunity to galvanize behind a political war machine now that I am deputy leader of the UK Independence Party. And for all of those who say no to politics, what's the point? I say you're part of the problem. I say you're part of ignorance. You're part of apathy. The time for action is now. The call to action is now. There can be a new future. Amen. There can be a bright new future. It is based on activism. Amen. It is based on having your house in order Amen. and no longer living a disordered lifestyle. It is about prayer. It is about fasting. And it is about asking our Lord and Saviour to forgive you, me, a sinner. Amen. The opportunity has presented itself. And it is an honour, as always, to speak on behalf of the Disciples of Christ movement. If you haven't already found it, follow it on X, formerly known as Twitter. That is Christ at Christ Saves UK, at Christ Saves UK. Whenever we do this, you will be notified via X. We have banners. We are looking for people to gather behind the banner if they want to and to have a picture to send a message to apathy, to liberalism, to ignorance and to the political elite that muscular Christianity lives in Britain! My name's Nick. She's Nick as well. Oh, what, what is it? So, do you know Turning Point UK? No. Good. Uh, it's off to a fine start. So, Turning Point is a conservative, so, um, sorry, a conservative activist organisation, and I was earmarked to be deputy leader of the UK Independence Party as a result of my work standing up to radical gender theory and drag story hour UK and Marxism in our institutions, led by our, led by our fantastic CEO, a guy named Jack. Um, we're both in politics, but it's Turning Point that was the activism chapter, which right. got me a degree of recognition, and now I'm standing as deputy leader, or I'm deputy leader for the UK Independence Party. Nick, what effect do you think this protest will have, and what impact do you think it will have, especially in a wider society? On the liberal elite and the political class, none, until it then does have some effect. And that is why we must find our voice as Christians, reject liberalism, make sure that we are in church at least on Sundays, we are on our prayer game, we are on our fasting game, and we are reminding the British people and the British public at every single opportunity that this is a Christian land, and that when the far left and total totalitarian propaganda, as it so loves to do, says, well, what are British values? Where is Christianity? Their attempt is to emasculate us and put us on the back foot. You simply respond, British values, Christian. Full stop. Amen. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it. What are British values? Christian. Christianity. Those are our values. And stop totalitarian propaganda, a.k.a. far-left extremism. It's all part of the same satanic nonsense. Don't let them put you on the back foot. Just say, we are doing our bit to stand up to liberalism, the political elite, the um, elite class, whatever you want to call it, to um, ESG, corporations, you name it. We are standing up as one unified voice saying that the heart of British values is Christianity. We're not talking about democracy. We're not talking about law and order. British people are so polite and we love to queue and fish and chips. Those are very true potentially. But when people try to put us on the back foot saying, well, what is it to be British? You're a racist. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, we're not. No one is. This is a Christian land and those values must proceed from Christianity. It is culture first, economy second. And that is what is missing in the country. What do you think, now we know the general election is coming up, and what do you think the outcome will be? No comment.
Oh, just the banners and we'll do some... Uh, yeah. It's about Christianity. Yeah. It's about, about Christianity today, but I appreciate the question. Sure. No worries. Right. Thank you. Uh, turning point. Yeah, thanks. Sure. Holy Mother Church. Sorry. Excuse me. Especially Daniel. Come in together. The force and the clay can't work together. It's profit. It's a false system. Bring the UK to repentance at the top. Put the spiritual covering on the land. Covering. Talk about now, the your main da'is, like Muhammad Hijab, will advocate for the sexual subjugation of people that are people. Why are you offering, bro? Why are you offering? That are minors. Why are you offering? I have seen Muhammad Hijab publicly say that there isn't any issue. Christ is 
Mary, the Bible says you must be born again. God believes that when you eat the bread of church and the blood, the, the red wine, that you win. Cross this gate! Cross this gate! Cross this gate! You believe Mary and other people can hear your prayers. Cross this gate! Cross this gate! You need to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Cross this gate! You need to have a relationship with Jesus Christ, otherwise you will not be saved. Cross this gate! You're claiming that Christ is king, he's not enough. Cross this gate! Cross this king! Cross this king! These people are stars and fast guys of Christianity! They are Catholics! Cross this king! 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 Cross this king!
I think it's very important because uh, the thing about journalism, you have to show what's going on, you have to be objective, you need to ask questions on any side, you need to ask questions uh, from either side and just show what's actually going on rather than taking sides and looking like an activist, being an authentic journalist, you need to actually show what's going on for what it is and that's what the mainstream media don't do. Uh, how can people Jesus find Christ you? Because I love this yeah. guy yeah. I'm talking to. He's only about 18, 18? years yeah. of age yeah. and he's the, one of the biggest yeah. live streamers in London. In London. Yeah. And I would yeah. argue, watch yeah. this man, yeah. in years to come, yeah. he is going to be big. But yeah. before that happens, yeah. he's going to be a cameraman for yeah. Street Night yeah. live stream. So <laughs> how do people there. find you? So people can find me on YouTube. Uh, where I have 13,000 subscribers, TikTok where I'm nearly at 50,000 so hopefully we can get to that milestone uh, by the end of the month. I'm also on Instagram, Twitter uh, which is now known as X so you can find me on those platforms and if you're around at any of these events and would like an interview do come up and say hi because uh, I love to meet and talk to new people. But thank you very much for the shout out. And um, I'll show you out quickly. So we are currently, um, I'm being interviewed by Street Mike. So go check out his channel as well. So, yeah. so one thing I love yeah. about this man yeah. is because I've been watching his yeah. rise. Yeah. I've been watching you yeah. as you develop yeah. since you've been yeah. 15 years of age. Yeah. And I'm really proud yeah. of how you've Thank matured, you. how you've, you're going about yeah. doing things. Yeah. And I'll take my hat off also Thank to your you. dad. Thank who's you. a strong yeah. person behind you. Yeah. Thank you very much and I appreciate all the support and all the kindness but I literally started from nothing on day one and my first ever live stream, I think it was about a couple years ago, one of the anti-lockdown protests and all of a sudden I got all these people on my channel and I thought to myself, I'm going to take it further beyond this and create something um, that I've never, I mean a few years ago I would never have expected to become um, on YouTube quite well known and a journalist like if you told me like four or five years ago I was going to be a journalist I would not believe you but now I'm in this position and I'm very much grateful Excellent. Yeah. Big, up. big up big up street Mike big up, big up. Yeah. I have I interview all the time. Yeah. 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 I have like around two yeah. Yeah. Christ is king! Christ is king! Christ is king! Christ is king! Sorry mate. Wait, let me try. Whilst, whilst we are all here to, listen, to hear and to learn from people who can defend the faith professionally, which is what Bob is going to be doing, there is another angle to why we are here today. Last weekend, attempted murder once again was put on our Christian brothers and sisters. Bibles, Christian literature, desecrated up and down the country between the World Hijab Transformation Day and Islamic recruitment posts. Can you imagine the mainstream media headlines if they were to be attacked? Can you imagine what we would see on our screens? But attempted murder at Hyde Park. Better not say too much about that. We are here to understand more about totalitarian propaganda, also known as far left extremism. It is designed to silence you. It is designed to beat you into submission. Is it designed to emasculate you, to put you on the back foot? Once you understand something, you can control it. And that goes for your behavior. Don't be put on the back foot. What happened last weekend should be mainstream media news. The perpetrators should be made an example out of, and the press should be inspiring. Listen, those people that denounce the 1%, but you will not hear about it. That's why we're here, that's why these guys are here, and it's only because of Christian voices and muscular Christianity. Christ is King! 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 Who's the King of England? Jesus! Christ is king. king. <laughs> right. right, well, get your. Who's the king of England? Christ, Christ is king. king. Who's the king of Nigeria? Christ, Christ is king. king. Who 
Who's the king of Pakistan? Christ is king! Who's the king of France? Christ is king! Who's the king of Germany? Christ is king! Who's the king of Saudi Arabia? Christ is king! Who's the king of Mecca? Christ is king! Who's the king of Akaba? Christ is king! Who's the king of Medina? Christ is king! Who's the king of Mohammed? Christ is king! Who's the king of the Quran? Christ is king! Who's the king of Aisha? Christ is king! Who's the king of Uthman? Christ is king! Ladies and gentlemen! Yeah! There's only one Christ! Amen! Ladies and gentlemen! JC in the house! Yes! We have now had two attempted murders in this park! It's great! Two attempted murders in this park! There have been sandwich between a litany week after week, week in, week out of intimidation, no more. harassment and bullying by Islamist thugs. Disgusting! We have captured on camera Muslims threatening to stab people, but no arrests. We have caught on camera Muslims headbutting Christians, but no arrests. Stealing their Qurans, but no arrests. We've captured on camera Christians identifying their stolen property in the hands of Muslims. No arrest. We have identified people on camera physically assaulting people and no arrests. Ladies and gentlemen, despite the fact that the Archbishop of Canterbury is an utter coward, <laughs> And that the Archbishop of York is an utter coward. We, Amen. We as Christians will not be intimidated out of this park. We will claim this park for Christ. And we are going to demonstrate to everyone that in our hearts as Christians there is courage. Yes. And why do we have courage as Christians? Here is why. Because Christ said, fear no man who can only destroy the body, but fear only God whom, having destroyed the body, can cast the soul into the fire. Christ is risen! 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 And that is why, brothers and sisters, we shall be, as Paul said, more than conquerors. We have already beaten all of these Dawa Gandhists in intellectual arguments. Every Dawa script that they have brought to us, we have destroyed. They run from us in intellectual arguments. But I am not satisfied with only an intellectual victory. I want complete victory. I want this park to resound with the name of Jesus, Amen. to resound with the gospel, Amen. Amen. to see souls saved here, Amen. to see people become Christians here. Amen. So from now on, when the Muslims pray in this park, Christians will pray in this park. If the police do not interrupt Muslims when they pray in the park, they should not interrupt Christians. From now on, we will stand up to the Islamist bullets. We will not be intimidated by them. And what we need is Christian unity. We need Christians to unite as brothers and sisters in Christ. We are called as Christians to offer up our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice, Amen. to be active soldiers on duty for Jesus. Amen. That is what we are called to be. In other words, okay. the identity of every Christian 
is to be a warrior priest unto the Lord. That's right. That means, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. as warrior priests, we seek to establish the kingdom of heaven on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to invite you to join me with a prayer for our Father. Let's do it, Bob. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I have a challenge. Yeah. I have a challenge ha, to hey, sectarians. to wealthy. Hey, sectarians. Archbishop of Canterbury. Don't listen to the Lord sectarians. Christ is, Christ is king. 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 As we be united for once, we stand unity. We stand unity. Let us be united. Stop fighting each other.
You don't go out and wreck your sex, Father. You fall a fool. You don't fall a Jesus. You don't fall a Jesus. You fall a fool. You don't fall a Jesus. You fall a fool. You don't fall a Jesus. Fall a Christ. Repent. I believe in the gospel. Come on. Fall a Christ. If we don't fall on Christ, why are we saying Christ is King? Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. You full of blood, you are full of Christ. You are demons, wolves in sheep's clothing, fools, liars. Excuse me, sir. You are a coward. The crowds have indoctrinated fools. There's no unity with fools. There's no unity with all the Catholics. These are liars. They are demons. They are as good as Muslims. Look at them. They are fools. Demons. Look at them. One gospel that leads to salvation. And you must be born again. You, you must be born again. You need to be saved and receive the Holy Spirit. You're praying to believe in the gospel. It's a great one. Jesus Christ is the only way to believe in the gospel. These are devil agents. 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 They don't believe in the law. Jesus, the Bible believes that Jesus is the God in church, saves him. The Bible says that you need to receive the Holy Spirit to be saved. She is a double agent. 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 You do not have the Bible. You are fools. You are fools. You don't know how to get to heaven because God won't tell you. How many times has your favorite boy run from me? How many times has God run from me? Imagine seven-day banishment. All you do is shout people and shout at them. You're a demon. Move your hand. It's so me. All you do is shout. You need to be born again. You need to receive the Holy Spirit. You cannot save yourself with your work. What are they doing? Why are you opposing them? Because they're false teachers. They bow down to Mary. Oh, they, they're Catholics. Preachers are not the gospel of Jesus Christ. 
that through faith alone, through Jesus Christ, you are saved. The Catholics do not believe this. They believe in prayers to Mary, intercession to the saints. The Eastern Orthodox do not believe in it. The Bible the Apostle says that if you do not have a Catholic gospel, then you are cursed. You are cursed if you are a Roman Catholic. You must repent and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ for your salvation. There is no salvation in The Bible says to worship God and not men. Bob is nobody. Bob is a man. Bob is nobody but a man. He bows to a woman. He's a beta male. Bob is a beta male. Possibly David Wood, you know? Who? How you doing? You okay? Very good to see you. How's it been, bro? I'm sorry I missed you yesterday. Well, of course, you were at the, the Israeli camp. Yeah, yeah, we're at the Israeli camp. I, yeah. I was at the embankment. Do you know what's happening right here? Okay. Um, over there. Just, uh, just, to, just to, you know, do a quick interview with you. Yeah, definitely. Um, this yeah. is Lewis. Yeah. Uh, from <laughs> Lewis Arrington. Yeah, we got. Yeah. Sorry, what is it, Hello. Lewis? Big up, big Arrington? up. Louis. No, Louis. No, no, Louis. Louis. Louis Arrington. Was, yeah, Louis Arrington. Spell Louis. Yeah. And uh, Louis yeah. is um, independent uh, journalist. Independent journalist. Yeah. And uh, yeah. to inform Louis, yeah. apparently Jay Smith and possibly David yeah. Wood are arriving. Brilliant. And that is why they're all That's going That's why everyone's going next. Yes. Jay Smith who, and... Do you know, do you know Jay? I haven't really heard of them. Oh, you don't know? Actually, oh. don't. Okay. I need to... Uh, David... Oh, the American guy. Yeah, Jay Smith who, is kind of... Did he speak last week at the protest? Or? Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. Jay Smith is a very famous um, Christian. Yeah. Who, who he is the one who kind of discovered the 50, uh, well, with the Hatun, the 30 yeah. odd different Qur Qurans. And David Wood yeah. is also uh, a. Yeah. Do you know a prophet? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. Okay. David Wood uh, does a. Yeah. He did his own show for a while, now he does a joint show yeah. with a prophet prophet and with yeah. um, another, another Jewish guy who actually. They do oh, wow. um, this week in. Uh, yeah. This week in. Um, yeah. So jihad this week in jihad. Oh, something's um, happening over there. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of Sri. Yeah, yeah, pick, yeah. pick up the pace a bit. Yeah, <laughs> this is pace. literally kicking off central. We're picking up the pace. <laughs> yeah. Picking up the pace. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I can see the yeah. police over there. Yeah, it looks like maybe I Jay didn't Smith expect any of this to happen. Yes. So what were they debating about? Why were they debating against the, um, this protest? When? Because well, they're Christians themselves. That, oh, that yeah, no, yeah. John, unfortunately, John and his girlfriend have got a slight difference in Christian theology. Oh, I see. Uh, and they Look believe that, that Bob... Police. We used to film that. It just looks like there's a bunch of police that are just gathered. Yeah. A lot of police gathering at Speaker's Corner. The mood is very tense. There was a slight disagreement just earlier uh, about one of the Christians who disagrees with another version of Christianity. But yeah, there are a lot of police here. The mood is very tense. And yeah, we're going to be covering this throughout the afternoon. So I hope you enjoy. My name's Louis Arrington. I'm a freelance independent journalist. As we see right behind me, there are a lot of police here uh, just to sort of uh, prevent any potential clashes from taking place or any fights but yeah we're broadcasting live at speakers corner share the stream out there if you enjoy it and i hope you enjoy all the future content that i'll be covering over the course of the next couple of months thank you everyone and be sure to share this live stream So is Bahrain, Bahrain's another good country. Bahrain, mate, Bahrain. So, so, so it is the idea, so, so muscular Christianity is this. 
And we have been educated by the Liberals that we should be shy and timid about our Christianity. But Christianity has a great security. Oh, my stream is buffering a bit. So my stream is buffering a bit. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. My my stream might be as well. Yeah. Yours is mine definitely. Yeah. Yeah, the internet's. Uh, the thing is, I've got like five bars. Yeah. Oh, is essentially the cowardice of Christian leaders. Comfortable people and their fear of losing their comfort is making the church ineffective. To provoke and to agitate. It is pathetic. And they won't win. I'm going to say hello to my good friend Chris. We met at uh, Whitehall, uh, Nick Jesus Christ is not a Muslim. The East of Islam is not the same Jesus Christ we believe in. Our Jesus Christ, he is God in flesh, who came only for the plan of salvation, for the sins of the whole world, that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. The East of Islam is not the same Jesus Christ we believe in. The East of Islam is made by the idiotic, psychotic Muhammad, okay, the pedo of Islam. So Jesus Christ is not the Islam of Isa. Get that in your head or open your brain as well. Muslims, open your brain. Jesus Christ is not the Isa of Islam. Allah of Islam is not the God of the world. Allah of Islam is the devil in disguise as God. So my dear friends, if you want to save your soul, by the judgment of God is coming soon. If you want to save your soul, believe in the God who came down as God in flesh, who did the salvation plan, and that is none other than Jesus Christ. Almighty God, everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. And Jesus Christ, everything was made by Him, and for Him, and by Him. And Jesus Christ is the creator of the whole world. Jesus Christ is the God of the whole world. Heaven and the earth belong to him. In the Bible it says, Jesus Christ said, heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. So my dear friends, Jesus Christ is none other than God of the heaven and the earth. So Muslims, if you want to debate me, come and talk to me nicely. I'm willing to talk to you. But why don't you go to your own country and cause trouble there ah, instead of coming here talking about all this nonsense? Yeah. Right? This is a speaker's corner, sir. It's speaker's corner, yeah. but with all you do yeah. is argue with Muslims yeah. when the Zionists are Muslims a bigger are danger Muslims. and so are the Americans supporting the Ukraine yeah. and getting hundreds of thousands okay. of Ukrainians okay. killed. Okay. That is a problem. Yeah. It's not just what about, Muslims. Can I ask you something? Yes. When Britain ruled the whole world, yeah. were you not happy were you happy with it? No. Uh, because I'm it. not a Zionist. So my dear friends, but every Britain, country so every country has gone on uh, you know emperors empires and wars happen in every country was a big worst Ma thing that so, britain never did the so they Declaration. are they don't care when uh, england was ruling the whole world they don't care about that but they care about what is happening among zionism yeah, my dear friends every in the whole world every country has suffered persecution every country has been ruled by some other country powerful country so don't take all that in granted only thing is 
whatever God wants you to do. God does not want you to kill anybody. God does not want you to I've steal. I've been in God China so for much. two months. China shows the way for England. And I don't support the Communist Party. They found out. He's all about politics. He's all about politics. He does not believe in Jesus in Christ. South, may God bless him. South and Korea may God bless him. has one less than one child per couple. And so does uh, a lot of other countries like Japan. Less than one uh, child per couple. English people are having two, three children. The Chinese say we must have more children in China. We must aim for three. China shows the way. My grandchildren are in Hong Kong. They've got a chance. In England, the English are going to go out of existence. And there's only a few no, people. Please go, please go back no, to what you're saying yeah, about Zionism. Like, there's only patriotic alternative no, which uh, supports the English properly, and they're not even allowed to stand for election. Go back to what you're saying about Zionism. What what it's more important to them to give the Conservatives a problem with those. And those needs to catch, and those are slightly more tactically. I think that that needs to be, that needs to be considered. I don't mind having that. As bad as this Conservative Party was, the Labour Party could be way worse. I think the point is, is what obviously I represent the United Kingdom. No, before what you just said is what you just said to the people is, 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 is the absolute thing. If if you vote to block the Tories, you're doing that because you're full of pride and vengeance. That, that is tactically different. And just on my issue, if I can make this on my issue for a second. So the NHS has done a great job. We had the CAS review from Dr. Hillary CAS showing how transition kids is helping. And so they pretty much stopped this in the NHS. But privately, kids were still able to buy this stuff. There's this woman, Dr. Helen Beversley, I think her name is. A company based out of Singapore. She's living in Europe. She was sending these drugs to about a thousand kids in the UK. So the Conservative Party, it took them forever, but they just issued a three-month ban completely. When that three months is up, if Labour's in power, 99% chance they're going to roll that ban. And then kids will be able to access the drugs and make it again, privately. So the sort of stuff you're talking about goes to when the big expose happened six months ago, or last summer, about Stonewall being, not Stonewall, Tavistock being shut down. Obviously, you're fully in favor of Tavistock campaign for so who knows what's actually really going on? What I do know is, is that whilst we do, obviously we're talking about a different campaign now, there are many issues in the threat to the face. The reality is that all fathers, mothers, patrons, concerned citizens, patrons, whatever you want to call them, it's going to be happening. Very, very aware when they vote on July 4th in regards to the prospect of one aspect. That's just one tiny aspect. That's just one tiny aspect. Yeah, I mentioned about Islamism and radical Islam, and talking out about huge blockers and drugs, and the back door reopening, and everything. So we think we're shut down at the moment. There's no real evidence that at all. What is it? Uh, line waiting. So you've got a, a generation like mine, all the millennials, can't buy a house. Men and women have never been more divided, and you're going to have kids so that you can be mutilated goes without, without the parents' consent in the name of diversity, inclusion, equality, and Britain. Where's my incentive to start that? You've got to put your mindset in the mindset of all millennials and exes. Anyone between 25 now and 25. So, uh, obviously, you know, this is a solution territory, we're just chatting about it. Yeah, I was very, very concerned when I thought about which way to Yeah, they're in power, like, who knows if they have a majority or minority, what's the, uh, what are the numbers on that? Are they looking to getting a majority? So this is the big question, will they be getting in and with what kind of with what kind of landslide. The answer is, I'm going to think of it, I don't, I don't know, I don't have a real cast. All I know is that Matt Matt behind it. I know that, is happening, but I don't know. My, my personal opinion is that uh, yeah. I think that if reform keep going the way they're going, it won't be the majority. Yeah. If that if that isn't real yeah. for some reason, I think the yeah, majority would be a disaster. Uh, you know, civilizations, we have this great culture historically, going back hundreds of years. The greatest countries in the world were formed because of the Judeo-Christian values that underlie their constitutions. 
And that can all get wiped away very quickly and you give these guys four years of power and it's a total disaster. I'd just like to say one thing to that point. Everyone's saying, you know, they get in five, four, five years, whatever, and then we, you know, we sort it out. You know, four, five years of Marxist space socialism. It's a long time. It's a long time. You can't just necessarily... And then, of course, it's the whole, well, we've got to spend five years on doing what the last government did. The reality is, is that the far left in terms of the propaganda are one and the same thing. This is why we talk about in the physical world, we talk about spiritual warfare. But in the physical world, we talk about psychological Far left extremism and one and the same thing. It is designed to put you on the back foot. It is designed to emasculate you, to confuse you. It is designed to intimidate you, like the left, like the um, uh, the groups like anti they know how to bait you to bring out the worst of you. And when it's psychological warfare and NATO, I can't sit down back that up as well. So if you can't your point, what is British, what, what are British values? You just mentioned it yourself. What are British values? It's designed to put you on the back foot. There needs to be a resounding, what are British values? Christianity. Sorry? Full stop. Christianity. That's it. No more defence, no more apologetics of how we are. Fish and chips, we're polite, we love to fuse. The Queen, <laughs> God the soul, King, um, probably Lord watch over him as well because it's questionable. But the reality is, is Christianity comes first. Uh, uh, not living a Christian lifestyle can lead to a very disordered life. House, state, the macro, micro, and supranational, look at the globalist level. Do we care about the same Christians? So we need to form order back within the UK as well. So it's very important, as I said just over there, what are British values? Full stop. Unapologetic. And eating your fish your chips point, out your of a point. newspaper. Yeah. <laughs> well, exactly. Eating the ducks. That's me, do you know what I mean? Like, whatever, whatever, tea, 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 whatever, it doesn't matter. But it's these apologetics about what is British, or what is even, what, what even is British. You know, as disciples of Christ, uh, they reject ethno-nationalism, just like Turning Point does, just like anyone does. They're far right represents a tiny, tiny percentage of UK society. There are six on the terrorism watch list, on MI5's terrorism watch list, there are 80 prescribed organisations. Do you know how many are far right? Six. Do you know how many Islamic? 58. Now when that list changes, I'll call the far right out even harder than I already do. I'll call out ethno-nationalists, that's what far right means by the way. I'll call that out even harder than sensible conservatives do. But as long as the scales remain like that, and we're still being uh, attempted to be put on the back all the time, to your very important point about British values or Christian Judeo values building the West, good or bad, right or wrong, the West was built on Christian Judeo values. What is it to be British? What does being British mean? Christian. Christianity. Yeah, certainly Ooh, not to promote queer theory. Don't get me started on that, you get me cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> it's queer worth theory, it. LGBTQIA plus satanic nonsense. Shouldn't be anywhere near school. Obviously, this is policy territory now. Shouldn't be anywhere near schools. Nothing inappropriate. Nothing which can sexualise. Sexualisation is the number one way to traumatise a child. That leads on to all the consequences and problems in life that we see around us. Addiction, uh, all sorts of like narcissism, liberal narcissism, that's not To traumatise a child, there's no getting about it. Doesn't belong anywhere near in a curriculum. Nothing. Doesn't matter. Don't get me started on this. All right. No, it's all good. Happy? No, we got to keep it out of the curriculum. I think you're absolutely spot on. All right, guys. Thanks, guys.
Uh, I'll start. The, if he doesn't show up, I will be here for everyone. Good luck to speak to you. It's a little crap. I'm going to let him thin out a little bit. God logic will be there for a little while now. Yeah, yeah. Real crowded over there. I'm trying to get Sorry. Do we? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. I might Brother, break out the camcorder. Nice to see you. Shut up, man. Good to see you. That's not gonna hold, is it? Uh, no. No. This is my two. I only have two. Hey, uh, hey, how are you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I have a better one you can borrow. Uh, you guys are so I'm there. But I have two more things. I'm going to show you. Yeah, you can do it. All right. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're not just in front of the Yeah, I mean, no, it's fine. It's fun stuff. That's what I mean, yeah. Is he positioning himself? Are you going to be here? Are you going to be in this area? No, okay. Okay, let's talk to these guys and pull out a camera. The business is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, no, 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 yeah. Where are they? Yeah, where are they? Where are they? Where's Ali Dawa? Where's Ali? I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that. You said that to him. Yeah. How are you doing? Hey, how you doing, man? What? They ran you off that quick? They ran me off that super quick, man. I asked them how Jesus was a Muslim. And they hurt you up, man? Yeah, man, they cooked me, man. They cooked me. It was over, man. I couldn't even get past it. Avery got cooked. What'd y'all get? Uh, I don't know, 15 minutes ago or something. Hey! People gather around me like I'm the cover. Alright, you guys want you guys want to see something? Y'all wanna see? You guys wanna see something? Hold this. Yeah, wanna see. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. You guys ready? I know what this is. You guys ready for this? Yes, David. People send me messages and said they're gonna brutally murder me if I show up. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. So some people said I need body armor. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I invented my own form of body armor. <laughs> yeah. Oh, That's right. Brand new oh, form of body armor. Huh? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Take me your honey. Explain. So what's that? What's that? Hey, there? Yeah, give me your context. Can't stab me without stabbing your butt. Ah, they go there. Ah, they go there. I am now the safest man in the world. Why? Why? Why, David? <laughs> you go. Ah, ah, oh, you go there. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, 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 Mm -hmm. That's tough. So this is going to protect David okay. from any harm, any stab wounds, okay. anything with any uh, violence, okay. because he has the Holy Quran on his shirt. Ah, Protected from any danger. Makes, makes I have become indestructible!
Where's your job? Where's Ali Dawa? They're not here. Where's Ali Dawa yet? They're behind him, bro. Whoa. They're behind him. They, they, they don't know now. I could be here today, yeah? Because I'm teaching my wife her ABCs on the whiteboard that I got her. <laughs> and, and I got smiles to Jenna Gray with me in the mouth, yeah? What about his mat? So he's probably busy delivering his invisible mat. <laughs> oh, yeah. And plus, I got the busy day selling Zyanda on my website. <laughs> I was proud of that. Spin the wheel, she would spin the wheel for him. He spins the wheel and wins prizes. Does he do that? The game's got a game show, bro. It's, oh, it's wow, a game wow, show. Yeah. Yeah. The, the hardest grifter. The hardest grifter. No, you want to do the one. Does anyone want a dialogue? We can move over, we can move over. Why are you guys about? What are you guys about? Where? Right here, skin. Right here, skin. Christian. Spread the gospel, man. Yeah, we have a conference. Christ is king. 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 Christ is Please here. Can we form a circle? Hold the banners. Hold them. Hold the crosses. Form a circle. Guys, just Join come in. in. We're going to pray. We're going to pray to close. Join us in prayer, guys. One circle. One circle. Let us pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for this day. We thank you for bringing us here today, leading us by the Spirit. We thank you for this land that we call United Kingdom. 
We thank you, Lord. We decree and declare that you are the Lord and King of this land. We decree and declare that Speaker's Corner has changed forever because of today. We decree and declare that Christians in this country will be heard. They will be protected. We thank you, Lord. Amen. We pray now and we decree and declare that your spirit shall rule this land, Amen. that your spirit shall revive this land, Amen. that this is the great revival, yes. that this is the great revival, Amen. that people will come to the knowledge of you Amen. and the receiving of your lordship. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, we stand united. Amen, Amen and Amen. 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 Well done. Well done, man. Well done. Thank you, guys. So if you're not following, um, if you're not following uh, Disciples, of, there is Disciples of Christ on Twitter, please make sure you are, yeah, sorry, on. X, whatever you want to call it, at Christ Saves UK. That's at, at Christ Saves UK. Okay, that is the notice board for you guys to be made aware of what happens next. Then you tell everyone that you know, and this is the, as you say, this is the birth of a new movement. Yeah. All right, well done, guys. Nick, one more thing. Can we all just talk and like, get to know each other as well and just swap Twitter handles and support each other? You guys want to network right yeah. now? Now's the time to do it. Yeah, yeah. So chat to each other. We're gonna, we have it done. Uh, it's a very, very specific way of rolling this balance. So I want to turn it that way. So, dude, can I have it that end roll first? <laughs> I saw Joe's video in my chat. Joe's There appears to be some sort of Ukrainian rally. I can just see in the distance. Uh, so I'm going to go down and cover that uh, before I end the live stream. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, I'm going to head over there. I think it's making its way. Um, but yeah, there are a lot of people. So I'm just going to cover that um, for a tiny bit before I end the stream. Yeah, it was a very eventful today. There was a bit of a clash between one of the Christians, uh, between Christians and one of them slightly disagreed. Uh, but yeah, as we see behind me, there's a lot of people. Um, I'm not too sure in terms of numbers, but I'm going to be covering that before I end my live stream. Thank you all for tuning in, everyone. So it appears to be some sort of Ukrainian uh, rally once again. I think it's making its way to Marble Arch. But I'll just get to the front of it so I can show you.
Christ is king. Christ is king. Jesus is king. Not Allah, not Muhammad, not the Quran. That is Satan worshipping Satan. The Quran has no defense. Every single claim in the Quran is false. It has been, in layman's term, debunked. It has no scientific substantiality it has no there it is not godly okay it is a violent cult it is a mafia style cult much like the much like the Turkish mafia it operates on the sword and flesh not the spirit which God said we fight with the spirit not with flesh not with the sword Christ is King! Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Christ is King! Jesus. Stop Russia! Stop the war! Stop Russia! Russia is a terrorist state! So that was just a Ukrainian march that just walked past Speaker's Corner. I'm not sure where it's heading to, but I'm assuming it's going to the Russian embassy, which is just not far from here, and it's down the road. But I'm not going to be following the full thing because I need to, so stay tuned. Thanks of America! To declare! 
We're back at Speaker's Corner now. We're going to be covering a bit of it uh, for the next couple of minutes before I end the stream uh, just to see if anything happens. There appears to be a lot of debates going on uh, between the Christians and the Muslims and various other groups here. But remember to share the stream out there. If you're new to the channel, welcome everyone. My name's Louis Errington. I'm a freelance independent journalist. We cover all sorts of stuff down in central London on a frequent basis. Uh, so we basically cover what the mainstream media don't show um, on this channel. So I hope you enjoy all the content that we'll be um, covering over the next couple of months. And if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe and share this stream with your friends and family. As Maya Tuzi says, we are the media. Yeah, I'm live. I can pass over people to you if you want afterwards. Yeah, guys, we've got immortal aliens here. Yeah. I got this new microphone set up. Yeah. Have you found stuff so far today? Yeah. I mean, I just arrived. Yeah, just arrived. I, I know, Fair you enough. Tell me. Yeah. I mean, today was pretty intense. Uh, there was a really heated debate. Yeah, we got immortal aliens. Check him out. He's another YouTuber. Big up, big up. Perfect. Yeah. He's just I can give you a hand stream. if you ever need yeah, to. Like if you're doing uh, an interview, oh, thank I can you, bro. May I appreciate that, bro. May in the next, uh, so this week. time next week, basically, that's going. To, you know, you're trooping up the color. Yeah. Uh, so we we can have to cover that on the 15th. So that's going to be all in central London. Uh, yeah. That'll be like near Westminster. So we can cover that uh, whenever it happens. But there's also protests on that day, an anti-monarchy protest on trooping the color. So that should be like proper kicking off. Uh, yeah. Sort of yeah. Just yeah. send me on the stuff. Yeah. Guys, definitely, bro. Yeah. I remember that time we were at Last time I yeah. saw you wearing glasses. I know, yeah, we were, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I, I have contacts. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, contact lenses. So I, I saw the social team too uh, when need be. But yeah, it's, it's been great lately. Yeah. The stream, the only problem with the stream here today has been buffering a, a lot. So I have it's not double connection. You have double? Uh, no, I only have single. But I can have double if I have hotspot. Because I can always hotspot and then just get it over. Yeah, using the yeah, use the yeah, camera. Yeah, yeah, camera. Yeah, it's really uh, convenient. But Wait, speedy I might upgrade. Speedy. Yeah, honestly, like that's what we need from the streaming like this. I mean, I'm no, relying on 4G. Chat, uh, that is chat there, but uh, I tend to put it away so I don't get distracted because. You know when someone that uh, like messages oh, in the chat, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, and I can't yeah, concentrate. The nasty stuff yeah, gets not just nasty stuff, but even the stuff that's just too funny to see when I'm actually uh, working away. Um, so yeah, it's, yeah it's, that's why I just put it there. So I just focus on the top I have basically. But yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, there was a question for a second. It's a second ago. That's why not there as well. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have so I see the stuff you? is like separate, yeah. like Christian side, yeah. Muslim yeah, side. Christian side. Was, I know, it's crazy. Like I interviewed Danny Tomo as well earlier too, um, one of uh, Tommy Robinson's friends. But yeah, today's been 
fairly decent, could have been worse, but yesterday I filmed one arrest, it was kicking off at the Israel and Palestine protest, there were a lot of people there, and yeah, I stayed there right until the end, and basically I was filming mid midway through the interview, and these people in balaclavas um, on the bicycles, they literally covered their faces, like, they looked really uh, suspicious, they almost crashed, like collided with my camera, my tripod, it was crazy, I posted the video uh, just yeah. a second ago, but yeah, man, it was insane, but, yeah, this is, yeah, it's, it's always good fun to come here, yeah. yeah. Should we do a bit of a wander around? Because yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm going to leave fairly shortly, yeah. and then I'll pass over uh, people yeah, to you. And, uh, and you're tired, honestly, so. there's, there's no need. Thank you so much for offering that. Yeah, guys, we got Immortal I'm, Aliens I'm, here. I'm, He's another streamer. Go check shift. him out. I'm, yeah. I'm always yeah. the night shift. Because yeah. I come late, what yeah. I stay. Yeah, definitely. But uh, the night owl. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. You wake yeah. up early, I'm just... Uh, I wake up early, I go to bed late. I can, yeah. Anyway, let's go to... Let's see what's happening. I, I, I haven't seen uh, Danny Shine hit yet, but there has been... It has been quite heated because... And they were just like arguing, arguing. So yeah, that, that was about yeah, it. It's but, always, when you see yeah. all the good debate, yeah. and they start yeah. raising their yeah. voice, it's just yeah. nonsense, like yeah. kindergarten. Yeah, shit. basically. It's just like, like how you cook it. Yeah. But yeah, like, yeah. right here from the show, it's not about yeah. here. Okay, so. Yeah. Hi, sir, how are you? Do you want to. Any good debate? Do, do you want a quick interview on camera? Randomly you okay? Sorry? Do you want a quick interview? Because I remember, I remember I saw you were mobbed the other week. Sorry. I've never been here before. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Take care. Yeah. That that guy was attacked uh, one time uh, in the past here. Yeah. Yeah. Opening my chat. Yeah. Or is he chat? My stream is just buffering constantly. But the good thing is, I can at least I can That's save it. This, yeah. Chat will yeah. yeah. I can always save it, so I can save it to my camera roll, and then I can just repost oh, yeah, it. Yeah, I have well. a chat. I can oh, read your chat from my phone. Oh, nice. You can see my yeah. stream there. Yeah. So it's on the mini. Yeah. Is it working just about? Skin, yeah. Everything. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm just gonna check the time because I need to pop off shortly. I was coming for 20 yeah, past. Yeah, yeah. Chat is popping. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Chat is popping. Yeah. 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 Let's let's wonder. I reckon this way because the internet the internet's not the best here. I reckon we could just wander up through here. Hopefully, I can my street pop in. Oh, it's working. Oh, nice. You know, I'll get people onto your channel because I'm going to have to go. Uh, I'm going to have to go home now because I got my last exam. Exam this Friday, but it's really good seeing you there. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'll pass people over to you, okay? Yeah, yeah when I'm in. Perfect. Take care of it, Amy. Yeah. I'm going to have to because I got my exam tomorrow. I've got to go back. Uh, to do some studying, but yeah, yeah. Guys, yeah. Pick the definitely. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. Still here, thank guys. you. Yeah, still here, still here. Yeah, exam, yeah. We're, we're gonna. Uh, I'll put, pass it's people over like, to you yeah. as well. Yeah, thank you. All the best to me. Take care. Yeah. 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 Hi there. How are you? you? Okay. Very good to see you. How's it been? Louis, nice to meet you. Yeah, How do you do? I'm Jay. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Oh, Louis. Very good to meet you. How do you do? Yeah. I'm about to leave now because I need to end my stream. Because I'll be I'll be around next week on Friday. And I sat, no, I saw them. I saw them. Yeah, I was here for the go flight over an hour already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, 90 minutes. You got so. uh, yeah. Like I peaked at 1,400. So yeah, it was really good. Yeah. Yeah. I know Thomas. Yeah, that was incredible. Honestly, one of the that was my best too. It is, it is already. Yeah, I have two more exams, so uh, the last one's on Friday, and then after that, I'm just going to be doing this full time. Yeah, so, yeah definitely. Okay, sorry, what's your name again? Louis, really good to meet you, Jay. Really good to meet you. Yeah, really good to meet you guys. Yeah, take care. All the best. You too. Take care. <laughs>
good to be heading off now. Take care. Yeah, yeah see. You. Yeah, very good, thanks. Very good. See busy day uh, today, yeah, yeah, very busy. Yeah, a lot of people. Anyway, yeah, take care. Hope that. See, see you. Have a good. I'm going to be ending my live stream now. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's been a pleasure covering Speaker's Corner today. Hope you enjoyed. I'll be uploading throughout the week. And on Friday and Saturday, I should be doing a live stream. Uh, we got some information. There's going to be an anti-monarchy protest on the same day taking place not far from Horse Guards Parade on Trooping the Colour. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Thank you all for tuning in. Thanks to all the mods for keeping the live chat clean. That's very much uh, appreciated. I'll be live again next week. Uh, so remember to hit the bell notification button and also uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel uh, so you can stay up to date with future live streams or videos like these. Uh, my name's Louis Errington. I'm a freelance, independent journalist. We cover all sorts of stuff uh, throughout the capital of this nation. But thank you so much for tuning in and take care, everybody. Have a lovely rest of your weekend and all the best. I'll be live probably around Friday or Saturday uh, this week, so next week uh, on the 14th and the 15th uh, for Troop New Colour. So hit that bell notification button once again and stay tuned. As Mario Susi says, we're the media. I'll be signing off now. Take care, everybody.